welcome back guys so in this video we will be dual booting cute face os which is a really beautiful uh, linux distro so, and we will also look at some of its features so let's get started so first visit this website and we're going to download the iso image and the website is really beautifully designed and quite colorful so click on the download button on the top right and we have three versions so we're going to use the debian version we also have arc and manjaro so click on the one of the two links so i will go with mega just click on the download button and the download will start and automatically save to your downloads folder and we also need this rufus program and you can see the download has completed so we will install the rufus so open the downloads folder And we're going to open the program by double clicking. So before proceeding, we need to make a partition. So right click on your start menu and open disk management. And you can create a partition by right clicking on the D drive and shrinking it. You can choose whatever size you want but uh, keep it above 20 GB at least and I have already a 40 GB partition made and then we need to select our partition scheme so right click on your disk 0 and in the properties you can under the volume tab you can see your partition scheme so in my case it is GPT so we will select our ISO image and set your partition scheme and we can start the process and also we will need a pen drive above 8 GB so select your pen drive and then set your partition and start this is going to destroy your all your data and create a bootable pen drive So now we need to boot into the boot menu of our device using the key for me it is escape and you will see your pen drive name just select that and we need to like click on live system and it will do some configurations And finally we are in the installation wizard so select your language and your region and the keyboard layout and here we will select replace a partition to dual boot and we will select the partition that we have made we can find it by the size so mine is this the last one select that and then we need to create a username and password and i've like set the wrong keyboard layout so i will change it and now we can create the username and password and to confirm everything we can proceed now and say finish and the installation will take a lot of time as usual and now it's done and asking us to restart so we will do that and you can see the dual boot menu you can select windows or cute face so after selecting cute face you will see the logo and uh, now we can log in to our OS so enter your password and right now the brightness is pretty low and uh, you need to finish this startup uh, 
wizard so select your theme and uh, then it will load up and it will take you to the home screen and here we are I'm going to increase the brightness and you can see the bright brightness slider is a bit jittery so now I've installed the OBS studio and like first impression this looks very beautiful the wallpapers and the aesthetic very mac os style and this is the settings and you can see i've connected to the wi-fi and you have your usual settings and we can choose between dark mode and light mode and choose the different accent colors as well so right now it is blue and uh, we have different wallpapers so not a lot of them but uh, the selection is quite good that this one the name quit the cute face and you can set the style of the dock i like it to be minimal and small and in the appearance you can change the style of how it minimizes right now you can see it's very basic and you change it to lamp now it is like the mac OS style but i like the default one better and in the battery you can see the it's a good animation of how much battery you have left and also you can see the quick toggles and you can also switch between dark mode and light mode from up there as well and the battery performance is set to at performance mode and this is my device info amd ryzen 2500u and this is the default file manager You can access your windows partitions as well so enter your password and you can see all your drives and uh, here is the terminal so make sure you run the sudo update and upgrade commands and this is how it looks in light mode and we have the chromium browser built in instead of the firefox that we see on other linux so pretty good chromium is also not bad and this is how the video player the default inbuilt video player looks and we also have the store so the store does not have a lot of apps you can see in office it only has two apps and in development we have four apps so if you are into coding you can use these apps and we have the uh, for office and graphics so we have like very little but you can also install it through this so if you have .deb uh, files you can just uh, drag it and drop it here to install the .dev files it is based on debian and also you can use the terminal as well to install apps so that was the cuteface os a quite beautiful looking linux distro and uh, so you can try it once and it's still in beta it has a uh, other versions as well and maybe try it in future so i hope you like this video subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one